I, uh, I, I don't know where to start. The, um, doctors told me you'd be here, and they said that, that it might help if I talk to you. You might be able to hear me. They, um, don't know much about what you're able to do right now, but he said it might help, so here I am. <laughs> Look, uh, darling, I, I just don't know what to say or where to start. It's been so strange, it's been, it's been a blur from the moment they brought you here, all the surgeries they had to do, and all the things they had to do to make sure your body kept um, working, kept surviving. I've been worried sick. What if they made a mistake? What if you were beyond saving? I just... I, I couldn't imagine a world without you in it. I've been as close to you as they let me get ever since. Just, um, waiting for news. Anything. They told me to go home again and again, but I just, um, I just couldn't. What if there's trouble? What if they need an organ transplant? I'd give anything to keep you alive. I just... I'm sorry. It's hard to say how you're feeling right now. I, I don't even know if you can actually hear me. And if you can, I think that'd be horrible for you. Sure, you can listen to what I'm saying, but trapped in your own body, unable to move or speak. With a tube in your throat to make sure you breathe and a needle in your arms so you don't dry out or starve. Sounds horrible. I know what your greatest fear is, but I don't think anyone would even consider something like this to be conscious and aware but your body's completely unresponsive sounds like hell <laughs> I'm sorry it's really depressing to talk about again it's just it's hard to know what to talk about what do you say to someone when you're not sure if they can hear you. But you know that they need someone to be there for them right now. What do you say to someone that you love more than anything? Knowing that you might never see their eyes open again. It's hard to think about. If I could have known that this would have happened, I, I would have done something, prepared something. I would have, I would have made sure that I was prepared. You know me. I always want to be prepared, no matter what it's for, or if the situation I'm getting ready for might never happen. I've got plans. I've got plans for all sorts of things, but this. I never imagined this could happen. I never wanted this for you to fall into a coma and for you to be <laughs> for you. I just, I can't handle it. 
60, 80% of comas wake up, but if you do wake up, there's no saying what it'll have done to you. Permanent injuries. You go through all kinds of rehab just to get back to where you used to be. Medications, prescriptions, and suffering just to be a little less healthy than you used to be. Nobody wakes up from this quite the same. And there's no guarantees that you even wake up. The bleeding, injuries, the damage. I'm not gonna lie to you, darling. It's bad. It's really, really bad. He told me that. It's a miracle that you're even alive. <laughs> they expected that you die in the OR at surgery. <sighs> but you push through. You're a fighter. <laughs> Darling, you always push through, no matter how bad the odds are. You try your best. You struggle as much as you need to. And so long as there's a chance you escape. <laughs> You're not just stubborn. <laughs> You've got a spirit that can't be broken, darling. You never give up. I know you won't. You want to survive. You want to live. You want to stay here with me, right? You're not giving up yet. I won't give up on you as long as you don't give up. I don't care about what it costs, and I don't care if the odds of full recovery are nil. So long as you want to keep going, I'll make sure the doctors do everything they can. It's experimental or risky, I don't care. You need to stay alive, darling. I need you. I need you, and I'll be at your side every step of the way. I won't be far, no matter what happens. I can work from here, right beside you. I can earn money for surgeries and treatments and medicine. Best PhDs and physical therapists and best practitioner money can buy. I don't care what it takes. I don't care. I just need you to wake up. To be with me again. I need you to wake up and look in my eyes and tell me how much you hate me. How much you want me to just let go. To leave you alone, to hear you say how much you love me, how you really feel, how much you care about me. I know you've always loved me. You just both have weird ways of showing it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we always end up together again, no matter how many times we break up, we are meant to be together. You're mine. And I'm yours. Body, mind, and soul. I'm entirely devoted to you, my darling. Every part of me is yours, and every part of you is mine. Because <laughs> we're just meant to be, you know? I know that this is torture. You can't talk to me. You can't tell me how you're feeling. I, I can't know if you're in pain, if you need something, want something. If there's anything I can do for you. <sighs> you know I would do anything to help make you comfortable. Just a single small price, nothing big. Nothing you haven't
heard them before. You have to wake up. Wake up. scream just tell me that you're better now open your eyes look at me just wake up I just need you to wake up that's all I need you to do just open your gorgeous eyes and look at me I know you can do it. I know you're strong. Stronger than anybody else. You have to push through this. You know I'll give you whatever you need, whatever you want. Anything. I never meant for this to happen and it's my stupid fault. I, I caused all of this. I'm the reason you're here. I'm the reason you might not wake up. No. Oh. oh, no. No, no, no. No, you're gonna wake up. I know you will. You're gonna wake up and you're gonna be alright. The world can't go on without you. You're my star. I told you that, right? You're my star. When everything revolves around. Life can't go on without you. You are the reason life is possible for me. You are the reason I wake up in the morning and start my day. So that I can take care of you so I can prove that I love you every single day and then every single night I can come back and look at you I can be with you and I can gaze up at your blinding light and be comforted by the fact that you exist feel the warmth of your skin and your presence and you're the only thing that that's worth living for. Every time I make a mistake, every time I do something wrong. The only person I want to apologize is you. Because I didn't do good enough to deserve you. The only thing I want and the only thing I need is you. So sorry. I'm so so sorry. This is all my fault. If I could have just stayed calm, none of this would have happened. You would still you'd be all right. Just on the floor of my basement, wrist tied to the radiator. That chain I got you. Years ago. I still can't believe it still fits you. You know, even after all these years. The same chain still fits around your wrist so tightly you can't escape. It just means you're always meant to be there. Right in my basement, in my side. I just, I overreacted. When you told me you wanted me out of your life, even after everything I did for you, I'm not as strong as you, darling. My will isn't as unbreakable as yours. I couldn't handle it anymore. 
I just had to make sure that you knew forever that you were mine. I wasn't thinking straight. I just, I got so angry and so frustrated. I don't even remember where I got the knife from. Kitchen, bedroom, but I just, I had it in my hand all of a sudden and after all these years I had to make sure that you were mine forever. So I wanted I wanted to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have doubted you. I know you love me deep down inside, no matter if you don't want to admit it. Should never have thought you did. I just couldn't handle it anymore. You're part of me, darling, part of every fiber of my being. You're the air that I breathe, the food I eat. You're, you're carved into the middle of my heart. And I wanted you to know what that feels like. To have someone's existence be etched into your heart like yours is mine. I want you to know how it feels for your heart to belong to one person, someone who you trust with it. But I guess you won't trust me with your heart anymore from now on. That's okay. I have better ways to make sure you admit your love to me. There's always silver linings, you know. I just have to keep looking on the bright side. Like, now we're in a hospital full of medicine that I can use. Make you see the world like a place where we can be together. Where how you coming out of a coma weaker means you won't have the ability to fight back like you did. There's all sorts of positives, you know. We just have to find it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not proud of what I did. That wasn't me. That's not what I'm like. You, you know that. It's... I just get frustrated sometimes. And any amount of frustration, of course, is worth it if it means I get you. But I have trouble controlling myself when I get really frustrated. And I know I, I shouldn't take that out on you. It's not an excuse. It's not me wiping away the fact that I did this. I'm the reason you're laying there in that bed. And you might never open your eyes again. But, no. No, no but. The fact is, is that I did this to you. I can never forgive myself. All I can do is hope that you get better. That I didn't actually hit your heart or something else in a way that they can't fix. You didn't deserve this. You made me angry, frustrated, sure, but you didn't. You didn't deserve this. I wasn't thinking straight. I was just acting on my emotions. And 
I caused this. I caused all of this. If I could have just been as strong as you, if I could just have been as perfect as you. It doesn't matter. I have to keep trying. I have to keep going. I made a mistake. Big mistake, but I know you love me. You'll forgive me for screwing up when you wake up, right? Because you're going to wake up. You have to wake up. I can't. I can't go on without you. None of this. None is worth anything without you. Not even the brightest star can rival how bright you shine for me. You're the one and only thing in this useless, fucked up world that matters. Nobody. Nothing compares. I need you, darling. I need you to wake up. I need you to open your eyes and shout at me and tell me how much you hate me. Anything. Tell me to set you free. Tell me that I'm crazy. I'm fucking insane. You've said it all before and I'm willing to hear all those terrible things again. Rip over every wound in my soul so long as you just wake up. <sighs> you know. Told the doctors were married. I mean, I I know everything about you. They couldn't exactly find the phone I took away from you, or the medical records that I'd burned. But I memorized all of it. Needed to to falsify new ones, but I guess that's another bright side, right? Doctors got to know everything they needed to. Every little allergy, every little medical condition scratch on your skin. Told me it was helpful that I knew everything off the top of my head. They don't even suspect anything. At least I don't think so. But even if they accuse me, something, I'll just I'll tell them the truth, you know, about the game we play. You know, about how we really love each other even though you won't admit it. We've been playing it for years, since the day we met. Don't you remember, darling, the day we met? And I looked into it sometimes. Recounting memories can help stimulate the brain enough to keep you going. So maybe telling you about it will help. Maybe reminding you of the first time we met and our first date and all the great times we had after that might help you just enough that you'll that you wake up. That you'll be okay. And I know you can do it. But if you need help, I'll give you all the help I can. Whatever I can do. Anything. I know you can't tell me. And I know you can't give me any kind of sign, but... I know what's best for you. We're soulmates. So of course I know how I can help you and, and I'm going to spend all my time by your side. I'll never be far away. Promise. Promise, my love, you can keep me to that. <laughs> but the first 
first time we met. You remember it was so long ago, but it's burned into my brain <laughs> before any of this happened, before our little game we play, before we started telling each other we love each other in our own little ways. You were just walking down a hall and I stumbled down the stairs from above. I was late for class and I tripped. All of my stuff fell out of my bags, including my sketchbook. I'd been watching you, sketching you for weeks, months maybe, and you just smiled at me and told me it looked great. You asked me how often I drew. You showed interest in me. You, you complimented me and it's, it's been a long time since you've complimented me, but I guess it's it's just the game we play. I know. You've always said the opposite of what you felt. I hate you means I love you. You're crazy means thank you for doing this. Let me go means time me tighter. Back then we didn't start the game yet. And you just told me those things outright. You told me how nice I looked and you helped me get to the right class and you asked for my number. It was so amazing. I felt appreciated finally, finally. All my life up to that point people had told me I was just crazy and I needed help but you were so sweet. It was amazing. Finally, I felt some warmth in my life and it was from the person I wanted it from most. And from that moment on, I swore you'd be mine. I'd do anything for it. And you know what happened after that. We dated for a while and and you broke up with me. And then... And then I started making sure that you would stay with me. Again and again. And you started playing our game. You love that game, don't you? You kept it up for so very long. I don't know what else to say, I'm just... I don't know anymore. I don't know what to say. Or what to do. All I do know is that I'm gonna be here when you wake up. Right by your side. Where I belong.